one website I do like. I like um this one site, my boy, The Flash. What's up, Flash? Peasy Head, The Flash from North Carolina. Flash put me up on this one website, Black Girl Online. Now I like that site. Those brothers, they talk some real shit on Black Girls Online. Now I like that site. Those brothers, they talk some real shit on Black Girls Online. They're talking about how a big number of black men in America are taking trips down to Brazil. They're saying that a lot of black men in America, they're going down to, to South America, they're going down to Brazil in droves. Now, the article said that a lot of these brothers are going down there tricking. They're going down there getting the prostitutes and all that shit. But from what I've heard from, from personal accounts, a lot of brothers are just going out there to just get their party on. Just like going to spring break, like going to Daytona Beach uh, or Mardi Gras. They're just going down there where the, the quality of women are a little better. And you know what? I don't fucking blame them. And you know what? I don't fucking blame them. And you know what? I don't fucking blame them. See, there's a revolution going on in the the black male community in America. See, brothers ain't going for the bullshit no more. And like I keep saying, there is a civil war in the black community between black men and black women. And honestly, a lot of brothers are getting in on the short end of the stick brothers are starting to broaden their horizons and you have people saying stuff like well those Brazilian women got diseases and yada 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 yeah I, I talked about that there are a lot of you know diseases and shit down there in Brazil but you fuck with these hood rats you get the same diseases shit ain't too much of a damn difference I mean let's be real and before everybody run to your computers and hop on the message boards talking about Tariq Nasheed is hating on black women cut that corny shit out I'm not hating on black women nobody's hating on anybody I'm just reiterating the facts nobody's hating on anybody I'm just reiterating the facts nobody's hating on anybody I'm just reiterating the facts is that story on the wire hating on black women by saying that black men want to go to other countries and, and, and check out the women there it's just stating a fact nobody's hating on anybody so don't jump on the message boards with the bullshit yet you little hens gossiping hens you <laughs> but like I said man brothers are going down there to, to Brazil South America because number one the women are extraordinary fly fat asses flat stomachs nice breasts real hair real hair real hair all that shit and on top of that they show brothers respect they show brothers respect see the brothers who are up on game they know that those South American women they show brothers the utmost respect and that's all we want at the end of the day and that's all we want at the end of the day and not even just respect just no disrespect how about just not disrespecting niggas <laughs> that's what the average black man wants just peace of mind black men don't ask for much now dealing with a mixed woman the way you step to her depends on a few things one it depends on what color the mom is if the mom is white or if the mom is black or if the dad is white or if the dad is black now the most common union like this you have a black father and a white mother that's the most common union that results in a mixed female now if the the dad is black and the mom is white there are other factors that come into play too now if it's if it's an upscale white woman who had a child with an upscale black guy that has a lot to do with the way the woman thinks and actually that's the better union and actually that's the better union you understand that now if it's a 
a ghetto ass nigga and a trailer trash white female that might be a little tricky but you might still be able to work that angle but you might still be able to work that angle then you have the upscale black woman with the upscale white man then you have the ghetto black woman with the basic plain white man because you don't see too many hillbilly or redneck or trailer trash white dudes messing with a ghetto broad because usually those trailer trash white dudes are part of the clan or some shit so you rarely see that so that's a very unique relationship as well now as far as the upscale black man with an upscale white woman that's the kind of female that you would want to get with a woman who had those kind of parents as far as the upscale black man with an upscale white woman that's the kind of female that you would want to get with a woman who had those kind of parents as far as the upscale black man with an upscale white woman that's the kind of female that you would want to get with a woman who had those kind of parents because the female is basically going to take on the characteristics and the ideology and the culture of her mother no matter what her ethnic background is or even if she was adopted or whatever the woman usually follows the culture and the ideology of her first nurturer her mother and as she gets older she follows the guidance of her father but it really starts off from the womb whose ass she popped out of that's who she gonna take after if she has an upscale white woman as a mother she's gonna have upscale white girl characteristics you've seen like mixed girls who are like you know talking like a valley girl very prim and proper those are cool to get with now uh, a ghetto type white girl and a ghetto ass dude black guy the female is still gonna have the characteristics of a mother and usually white women all across the board will show some type of respect to the men that they date you feel what I'm saying generally and I make generalizations I know a lot of people always accuse me of making generalizations this is a fucking radio show what else am I gonna do I'm not talking about anybody in particular that argument is so fucking corny to me stop making that corny argument y'all this is the radio show generalizations are gonna be made there are exceptions to every rule some people are born with 15 fucking toes generally people are born with 10 I digress so the basic union basically guys if you get with a, a mixed female it would be best to get with a female who is mixed with a black father and a white mother that's the ideal one to get with if you're gonna get with one basically guys if you get with a, a mixed female it would be best to get with a female who is mixed with a black father and a white mother that's the ideal one to get with if you're gonna get with one basically guys if you get with a, a mixed female it would be best to get with a female who is mixed with a black father and a white mother that's the ideal one to get with if you're gonna get with one now a female who's mixed who had a black mother and a white dad that's a real tricky situation now if it's a, an upscale sister like you know in the Jeffersons you remember the Willis family the Willises now if it's a family like that like Tom and Helen Willis that's cool you can get with a female like that and her mind should still be right that's why you gotta talk to women and see where they're from I find out all this information from a female when I first meet her 
people they don't mind talking about their family background I, you can find this out within 30 seconds of meeting somebody hey where you're from um, who's mixed in your family they, you know, people don't mind talking about this stuff who's white who's black the females they'll indulge that information so you can easily find that out like hey what does your mother do well my mom she work for the school board okay that's cool you know you can find shit like that out about a female when you first meet her so the basic union basically guys if you get with a, a mixed female it would be best to get with a female who is mixed with a black father and a white mother that's the ideal one to get with if you're going to get with one now where it gets tricky is when there's a ghetto black female who had a kid by a white man now if you see a, a mixed female in the hood who had a white father usually to be honest and I know I might be generalizing here but usually the mom was on some trick whole shit I know that sounds fucked up but let's look at the backstory I mean look at the situation and and I know from experience I've dealt with people like this before if the mom is still living in the hood first white dudes don't really fuck with no ghetto bitch like that they don't have no relationships with them white dudes do not have no relationships with no ghetto black bitch so what is he doing fucking it usually it's on some trick hoe shit she was probably somewhere hoeing and he was tricking and usually those girls who are mixed who live in the hood they're trick babies their mama was out there prostituting selling ass smoking crack it was some funny illegal shit going on and then this kid popped up that sounds really fucked up but that happens in a lot of cases I know a lot of mixed girls like that and unfortunately man they turn out fucked up because a lot of mixed girls especially ones in the hood and even some of the ones in the suburbs but it's not as bad as in the hood a lot of mixed girls they're like you heard the term tragic mulatto that's a very common term in the black community where these women are not really accepted by anybody they're not really accepted by white folks black folks kinda hate on them so a lot of these mixed girls have a need of acceptance so they're very easy to spit game to they really 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 wanna be accepted so if you just talk good game to them come at them on that family level they're very open if you got you know some good game now the ones in the hood those mixed girls who come from those those trick ass moms and that trick whole shit the ones in the hood are usually the most ghetto motherfuckers in the hood a light skinned mixed girl in the hood is 20 times more ghetto than everybody else because she had to play the super ghetto role in order to fit in the thing is with like light skinned girls and mixed girls who live in like ghetto ass neighborhoods them hood rats can't stand them them bitches get jumped on you ask any light skinned girl who grew up in like a kind of a rough neighborhood not even a rough neighborhood a lot of light skinned girls get jumped on by like fat bitches and dark skinned broads that shit happens I know a lot of situations where light skinned girls have been jumped on by other women just because they were light skinned that shit happens it's deep so those ghetto ass light skinned broads if you want to get them which I suggest you stay away from them but if you're just trying to hit it buy her a bag of weed get her a bottle of hypnotic Cause that's really all they want they want somebody to smoke and drink with them you get them something to smoke and something to drink you in there 
if that's all you want to do is hit it. I suggest you don't fuck with him. That's no matter what people say about me, you will always see me with a dime, an upscale black bitch, if I fuck with one. Or any race. I try to fuck with the upscale women of any race I deal with. If I give it a white bitch, Asian bitch, whatever, she's going to be upscale. I'm not messing with nobody's hood rat. Because number one, I live in the suburbs. Her little raggedy ass car ain't going to make it to the goddamn suburbs. Her transmission will fall out time she get on the freeway. I'm not coming down to the hood to fuck with her. Shit. Because in most cases she either live with her mom and if she got her own spot she ain't got no goddamn furniture. Well now what dude wants to leave the suburbs? What dude wants to leave his five bedroom house to go make love on a goddamn pallet? and sit down on a milk crate so lady step your game up anyway that's it for today's episode of Mac Lessons Radio 